Hello, I'm Peter Switzer. Welcome to the program that helps you make the absolute most of your money. Do you want to see these numbers? Yeah. $3. Have we got these numbers? Uh, well, I, I was waiting for them to come up, but I noticed okay, that right, okay. they well, 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 them well, well, Pretend they're there. I'll so. pretend they're there, exactly. $3.01 <laughs> for this year, $3.35 yeah. for 2011, yeah. and $3, about $3.18 or $3.20 so for that's 2012. the value of the company. That's the value. Yeah. Now, Benjamin Graham, who was Warren Buffett's mentor, mm. said in the short run, the market is a voting machine. In the long run, it's a weighing machine. In other words, in the short run, it's a popularity contest. Telstra was very popular yeah. in yeah. 1999. Yeah. But in the long run, it's a weighing machine. In the long run, price follows value. Mm. And what was the value in 1999? It was about $2, $2.80 or thereabouts. And, and the value hasn't gone up a whole lot in the last 10 years. Yeah. And guess what? The price has caught up with the value. Yeah. And okay. so it's a round value today. But so while it was absolutely a, a no-go zone in 1999, now it's a very interesting one from the point of view of what if the government actually pays a, a, a reasonable uh, payment for the infrastructure. Sure. What would you? What would that do to your equation? Does it well, change in any way? It, it could do. Yeah. Um, and but we can't do anything about that. Yeah. And unlike unlike you know some of the other experts in, in the market, I have no ability to predict yeah. that. So, so what, it's a speculative what play, really. Isn't we're it? speculating yeah. on a, on a favourable outcome. Yeah. I'm in the business of investing, not speculating. And so I would rather wait until the, the outcome of the NBN negotiations. Mm. And when I know that, I can put the numbers into my model and I can get a value. Yeah. And if the market hasn't caught on quick mm. enough, well, that'll be my opportunity. Yeah. And if it catches up and, or it take, goes too far, West Farm is a classic example today, yeah. a company that's gone way ahead of the performance of the business, and, and, and I'll just stand aside. Okay. I don't want to lose money. Did you also have a look at Meyer as well? Or not? I have had a look at Meyer. Okay, no, quickly, we're well. out of time. But, so what's, the, what's your evaluation? Using your, your model, what's the Meyer... Um, Today, value compared to share price. Meyer is worth, and I said this when it floated, remember? I know you did. I came on here and I said when it floated it was worth $2.90 a share, mm. going to about $3.90 in five years' time. Mm. So the share, they offered the shares at $4.10, which was absurd. Yeah. Guess what? The share price went to the value, went to about $3, yeah. $3.12 or thereabouts. I still think it's only worth about $2.90. There'll be speculation about it turning around and mm. being a success and all that sort of thing. I ignore that. I would want to buy tell, I would want to buy Maya rather at a 20% discount to its value, which would put it at about 60 cents. Like that's about two dollars thirty a share mm. before I'd even take an interest in it. I don't think we're going to see that unless there's a uh, maybe not, for... and that's okay for me. Okay, mate. Look, uh, I think we can only give you a Roger Montgomery show, but we have <laughs> to make sure the charts very turn kind, up. Mate. And, 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 but but we have a viewer question. This came from yep. Darren England, and from in Brisbane. And he said, can you get Roger to, to run his evil, I didn't say, his eye over ResMed? Now, yeah, have you done that? that? Have you I have done that. OK. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of... Look, ResMed is a, is, is a business that pays no dividends. It generates a mediocre return on equity. It generates a return on equity of about uh, 12 to 13%. And it's been doing that since 2005. And it's, it, the expectations are it'll keep doing it out to 2012. So based on that, it's worth probably its equity per share, mm. uh, because my, my required return would be around that rate. Yep. I'd be looking for that kind of return on my money. And so it's worth $3.10 today, mm. $3.27 next year, and maybe $4.40 the year after. So but it's trading at $6.62. Six, look at the price, yeah, $6.62. Right. Yeah. Now, people will look at the price and look at my value and they'll say, something's wrong with your value. Yeah. Well, it, there was nothing wrong with it when I said ABC Learning was worth $3 and it was trading at 8 yeah. Nothing wrong with uh, Telstra when it was trading at 9 and it was worth 3 I don't think there's anything wrong with these values. The market sometimes just get a, gets a really good head of steam yeah. and gets carried away. OK, Roger, next time you come back, we, we want your best five companies, OK? okay. Based on, cause you, 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 Based you, on quality you, or value? You've canned so many companies in this country that oh, and a lot in of terms of I'm value, sure. and you, yeah. you want them to be 20% below that. Cheap? What? what if there's nothing cheap? What if there's nothing Well, you cheap? come and say that. All right, okay. but I'll you might, say there's five companies yeah, that aren't cheap. You might say five <laughs> companies where... Good quality, yeah. but not cheap And enough. you're saying you, they need to be 20% below the valuation for you to say this that, is a That's go. where you've got a really good margin okay. of safety. Buy a great business cheap, you're going to do well. You might find five with 5% below the valuation, but... I'll, I'll know, find look, the things that I think a lot are the people cheapest. suffer you, and they love you for it. But it's on the same point, you got to give them something. But this time last year, this time last year was no, a completely no, opposite view, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly right. After, mate, always go having on the you program. You give me a hard gig, mate. Yeah, I know, but you know.